Hey, it's Gino here from Real Everyday English. I'm just doing some brushing up, or some sweeping up, whichever way you want to say it. I'm also whistling. If you don't know the verb to whistle, this is to whistle. Anyway, I digress. Since I'm brushing up, why don't we use the word brush to teach you some useful English vocabulary. Let's do this. Sunday. It's Gino here from realeverydayenglish.com. So as I said in the intro, I'm going to be teaching you some very useful uh, phrases and phrasal verbs that use the word brush. And these phrases will certainly help you in your um, conversations and interactions with native speakers. So the first one is to brush something under the carpet or to brush something under the rug. And this basically means to ignore, deny or conceal something which is embarrassing, unappealing or problematic. Now that might sound complicated, but let's consider the following and then you might understand this better. Okay, so I'm in the children's room here. This is my daughter's room at home. And you can see here there are two things on the floor. So there's this covering and this is a carpet. And a carpet is a thick woven piece of material which covers a floor. But a carpet covers the whole floor, as you can see, all of the room. And this thing here is a rug. And a rug is also a thick woven piece of fabric, but it doesn't cover the whole room. It's smaller. So that's the difference. This is a carpet and this is a rug. Okay, so I'm back in the kitchen now. And this here is technically a mat, but for the purposes of today's example, we're going to pretend that this is a rug. It's very similar. And you can see here that I've got a pile of dust that I've swept up off the floor. Now, if I don't want to do this properly and get a dustpan, put this into the dustpan and then throw it into the bin, and I'm being incredibly lazy, then what I can do is I can sweep this under the rug. So it looks clean, but really we know that all the dirt is still underneath the mat. And that is what we mean by sweeping something under the rug. Not physically, you can physically do it, but you will often hear this used in the context of problems in somebody's life, for example. You'll hear people say like, you can't just keep sweeping all your problems under the rug. And that's what it means. It means trying to hide them so people don't know they're there. But in reality, they are still there. Just like the dirt was still underneath the mat. You will have noticed in that first example that the word brush is interchangeable with the word sweep. So brush something under the carpet, brush something under the rug. Sweep something under the carpet sweep something under the rug. All mean exactly the same thing. Okay, and the next one is to tar with the same brush. And what this means is to think or assume that someone has the same bad qualities as someone else. So for example, if there are two brothers, one brother is really well behaved and the other brother is really naughty. He's always going out doing naughty things in the town. And you could say that the good brother, he gets tarred with the same brush as his naughty brother, which means that people assume that the other brother is naughty as well, just because one of them is. So he gets tarred with the same brush. And you can use it for a group of people as well. So you can say, oh, they all get tarred with the same brush maybe a class of people, just because one of them is bad, they all get tired with the same brush. And the next one is to have a brush with death. And to have a brush with death simply means to have a near death experience. So if a mountain climber is climbing up a mountain and his rope, his support rope that is holding him snaps and he begins to fall, but he manages to hold on to something so he doesn't fall all the way down, you could say that the mountain climber had a brush with death when his cable snapped. He had a brush with death. He had a near death experience. The next one is a brush with the law. Now, a brush with the law means to have an encounter or 
to come into conflict with either a policeman or a policewoman or the justice system in general. So if you hear someone say that su such a person had a brush with the law, it means that they had a conflict with either a policeman or the justice system in general. Next one, which is a phrasal verb. And the phrasal verb is to brush up on, to brush up on. And to brush up on something means to improve your existing knowledge on a particular subject. So for example, if you're going to France and you haven't been to France for a while and you know a little bit of French, you could say, oh, I'm going to France next month, so I'm gonna brush up on my French. And it means you're going to improve your current knowledge level. Next one is a phrasal verb as well, and it is to brush against. And to brush against means to lightly touch someone or something lightly, not heavily, lightly touch. So for example, if you're stood in a queue, if you don't know what a queue is, a queue is, for instance, in a shop where the people stand in a line waiting to be served. So if you're stood in a queue and the person behind you is really close and you, you might be able to feel them brushing against you and it means lightly touching you. So for example, maybe the jacket is brushing against your shoulder or something like that. And the next one is incredibly similar, but it is slightly different. And this one is to brush past. Now, this is when someone or something passes by you so it moves from one side to the other pass by but it lightly touches you at the same time so that can be a person or a thing and that's what it means is to brush past so it's to move it's to move by you pass by but touch you at the same time as always please feel free to share this video far and wide i'm on a mission to help as many people improve their spoken English as possible. And as you know, I focus on things that will actually help you understand and communicate with native speakers. So if you know somebody who needs this channel, who you think would benefit, please feel free to mention it to them. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good week. Bye-bye.